Welcome back to the gaming co-op. Look at that. We got us a box. We have it. The Beast Naga box is here. So this is going to be a little unboxing. I'm going to try and do this in one take. And man, am I excited. Oh boy. All right. So for those who are like those box people, got that old snake bite image from the last codex. We'll look at all the models. This guy's got like a little split lip. Oh boy. There we go, parchment off. Ooh. The great white squig. Look at that. Oh, buddy. So, we got the data cards in their little box. That's pretty sweet. We got our set of bases. Everyone in here is on big ones. Except for Zodgrod, he's on the big one. That's uh, Zodgrod Wartsnaga there. Very cool. And you get uh, three of the same size as like the Warbiker bases. This looks to be about a 50. Then we have the uh, this one, which is for the Smash a Squig. Looks to be about the same size as the Dawn Eagle Jet Bike. Uh, bases and then we have the gray plastic plastic so there you go you got Zodgrod there so we have his head it's like he's uh, standing on base with this massive squig imprint he's got a cybernetic foot parts of his claws a very cool model his little injector thing that robe it looks like it's not really all that important potentially so you might be able to green stuff over it make it completely different yeah, he's going to be such a standalone model when he comes out. It's that thin, scrawny old man bod. Look how saggy he is. It's fantastic detail. really like this model, even though I think he's going to be pretty much useless. But let's not get too negative on it. So this is the Smash a Squig, the multi-part kit. Looks to be one sprue. Interesting. He's got, uh, they've got the cracked lines here, so clearly I think they're printing it as a double and then they crack it. Yeah, so let's look at this. So we got uh, kind of the knob head there. I think that's the one that we've been seeing a lot of with the, uh, like the pigtail or is it a tooth hanging from his ear? And we've got the big choppa with like that scythe grip. We've got the gripping hand. It's interesting, he's got like what looks to be a little bit of leather over his shoulder. I'm surprised. I thought this would be a, like a two sprue kit, but it doesn't look like it. It's got that bionic uh, pistol hand, which is uh, just a slug up by the sounds of it. Looks like you got a second one, so that's great for some conversion stuff. We got, uh, what was that, like a tongue or something? Maybe part of the base. We got a cybernetic leg. We got the squig's head. Two different types, I think. Or no, just the one type. This looks very interesting. So, oh, there's the other head. This is the one that I like more personally. There's yelling, he's got the metal mohawk going on with the cybernetic eye. I think that's a great head. That little shoulder pad piece, very cool. I'm excited that it's got multiple heads in the kit. The, uh, <laughs> the buggies last year or two years ago when they came out were so sad because everything is so monopose. And here we have the titular Beast Snagger Boys. Got a bunch of the heads here. We got the cybernetic head. We got the one with that metal mohawk once again. Got some of the back section, some of the heads. Very curious to see how this goes together. If uh, if we end up with anything interesting as far as uh, possible alternate like shapes and designs go. Got the bomb squig here. What's interesting is the beast snaga on uh, the smasher squig. He has this little squig face here. So I don't know why they have that there, because I think that this might not be the official one that comes out with the uh, when he comes out solo, because there's a squig head there that I think is supposed to probably go with the bomb squig here. So those two on up, bomb squig, yeah, maybe, possibly. Bomb squig, two pieces, put them together. We have multiple Gretchen heads, which is awesome. We got some that are uh, missing ears, really good detail. I'm still in love with the old Gretchen heads, but these ones are definitely more anatomically correct. Uh, the heads aren't as ridiculously big. 
I did notice one of the alternate uh, Gretchen like poses. He has like a shotgun or something. He's hanging off the back. So be interested to see if he's uh, if he's got like an alternate weapon or something. We got snake bite glyphs here, which makes sense. We've got the uh, the stickers, the power stickers. That looks like to be the overhand variant there, the one that we saw where he's throwing it. This one's like your typical javelin, just in right hand kind of setup. There it is. The squig gun thing. Look at that. So he's firing out a little squig. Very reminiscent of the uh, Rucka Truck squig buggy. Very interesting. I can't wait to see how this goes together. Looks like when this one comes out, I bet you it'll be snapped. And it'll be in just a box of two. So you only get three head options with this guy. I'm going to do a full kit review when, uh, when we get a chance. I'm going to buy the individual ones and see if they change at all. Now these are the titular Beast Snag Boys, the OGs that we saw. It's that Choppa, a lot of furs and such. They look to be pretty chunky compared to an old Orc Boy. Just more upright. They still got the glutes though, which is funny. Big old glutes. And I think this guy is the like uh, hands down shouting variant. Which, it's funny, I think that's going to be a really good uh, torso for a weird boy conversion. He got the hands down, like he's doing like some crazy conjuring kind of thing. I bet you that the heads on these guys, ooh, the heads are looking pretty monopose. So you can see this one by my thumb. It's got a split in it, very similar. Looks like it slots in, yeah, it kind of slots in there, so... The head is now, instead of being uh, the neck coming out and then the head slotting over the neck, the head now goes into the neck. So I think you're gonna have a little bit of difficulty just straight up taking these heads and applying them to your current orc boys, in case you wanna give them a couple of head updates. I like to do that personally, especially on trucks and stuff like that. There's uh, one with some cybernetics. These look like to be the shells from the thump gun, which I think kind of looks like a China Lake. I only played Call of Duty growing up. Very cool kit. All right, last but not least, we have the final sprue. It looks like it is identical. Yep, so exact replica. So I think what you're gonna get is what here? Maybe two boys per sprue? Three boys per section of the sprue per quarter. So is that three, six, nine, 12? So yeah, this is going to have to come together. So I imagine when you get the boys kit, it'll be one of these snapped. So I think this is your best chance of getting like multiple ones. Hmm, this is very interesting. Yeah, it's an identical sprue, so you can see. And there's the uh, boss pole with the thump gun shells and the pistol. Same on the second sprue here. So that is it for sprues. We get some art. I got two of the exact same one, which is kind of funny. Doesn't look like uh, maybe they're inverted. No, no, just two pieces of art. Okay, it's a little different. Def dreads are not this big. <laughs> Wish they were. That's a sweet sized Def dread. Got just an orc boy by the looks of it. He's working with some beast snagas. Got some Gretchen in there. Beast snaga, shoot a boy. Boy with a big shooter once again more death core of Krieg. i feel like that might be an indication of what's to come so this is for the it looks like they've just printed out as one big book starting with the zodgrod we get a list of the bases so it's a 90 for the smash a squig head or smash a squig 75 so the same as the bike 50, so I was right, Zograd, and then 32s, we get 125 for the Bomb Squig. I think the Bomb Squig for five points is not our take. It's just such a crazy thing. Ah, here we go, the multi-kit part. Okay, so there is going to be some multi-kit options in here. This guy here is the Thump Gun one. He can also be kind of running with an axe. I'm not going to take any Thump Guns. I think they're terrible. I was looking at the previewed points for them. They just don't look good. They're five-point upgrade, and it's like, why would you take that one? You could take a Bomb Squig. Or Bomb Squigs might be 10. We'll see. So, and then when it looks like this is an optional piece with the shoulder pad, we got um, Beast Snag of Boys and the Beast Snag of Knob. So the knob looks like he's pretty mono pose. I don't think there's gonna be an option for anything outside of him to have a snapper by the looks of it, a power snapper. Hmm. 
So here we have the Smash the Squig page. He can be done with his head down as if he's charging or his head up. That's great that we can do both. It looks like the legs can be swapped as well. So if you have three, they don't have to be identical squigs. You could do one with his head down and a regular leg. You could do one with his head down and a robo leg, or you could do the one running with a robo leg. That's awesome that they're giving you that option. So happy to see that. Uh, at some point I'm gonna try and do, I think, a replacement over the top of the head because uh, I want to see if I can get like a different logo to stay over top. Ooh, actually, they beat me to it. Look at that. You've got a spiked RAM variant, and you've got the like, what is that, the uh, the GOG symbol or whatever, the one that means he's the boss. Two head options. There you go. Snakebite logo. So if he's going to be a snakebite one or for like the generic Beast Snaga-ish logo. Got two options for shoulders. This looks to be a very good multi-part kit. Very happy to see that. snag is on the hog riders the heads are identical looks like they're gonna be the more mono pose option I think your biggest your best bet as far as that goes is probably gonna be swapping out the Gretchen on the back there's that one with the uh, the racing wheel yeah that's it so there's no multi-part options for the squig hog riders I think your best bet's gonna be swapping out the shoulder pads on them so that's gonna be a little unfortunate. I think I saw this one here done with the open mouth. So you might be able to swap the heads pretty much interchangeably, but don't quote me on that. I'm gonna do a big build and reveal and review and show you what we got because uh, I'm so excited for this reveal. So there you have it. These snaggas, that's everything you get in the box in a transfer sheet, but I don't use transfers, I freaking. But that's a pretty cool one actually. Very happy about it. Codex seems pretty well rounded. It's got a good, nice matte finish. So excited for this. So, thank you for watching. Stick around. I'm going to have a lot of building and stuff like that to do over the next couple of days. But this has been the Gaming Co op. Good luck out there.